Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Burton Burger Podcast. Thank you for chilling. Thank you for vibing. Thank you for checking out the latest installment of the B&B Podcast. We are on episode 143. Thank you for chilling, and thank you for vibing with your homies here on b and I'm Burger. With me, as always, is Cousin Bert. And yes. We'll go ahead and get started. So I see you finally uploaded your Bert Draws as YouTube Shorts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You picked really yeah, terrible um, thumbnails. See, you don't have a choice on the phone. And one has one view. <laughs> it I goes one that, view, yeah. 188 views, and 52 views. And I, I, I fucking hate this 201, 202 <laughs> shit. It's so it's fucking funny. stupid. Very funny. Nobody's laughing at it, by the way. So go check out our YouTube shorts if you want to see Bert's terrible fucking drawings. Fuck yeah, dude. See, someday that's going to be the reference. That's like uh, Picasso's early days when he was... Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to spin this. Yeah, no, it's dog shit and it will never get better. Yeah. Dude, I was... There's a guy that I watch on YouTube. He's called um, Papa Meat. <laughs> isn't that your dad's old youtube channel name <laughs> it might be it might be yeah somebody bought it from him and this guy is fucking incredible he's an incredible artist it's like he does more kind of he has a kind of his own style it's like the really aids internet like uh i'm sure you've seen one of the videos i don't know if i could explain them to you really but it's just very over the top like exaggerated monster people like he yeah this looks really bad yeah no i haven't seen anything of this oh are are you looking at it right now though Mm -hmm. okay yeah so he's like very popular like he gets a lot of fucking views on youtube (laughs) like a shitload he's got 1.15 million so Mm -hmm. yeah when i think of very popular i think of like markiplier and stuff yeah, yeah, he's not literally the face of YouTube like Mark and PewDiePie. And His highest video is one. four and a half mil. That's that's like I would say that's top. That's like top one hundred energy in a sea of retardation. That's that's up there. Top one hundred in what way? Oh, just like most viewed content. I feel like anybody over a million ha- like has made it on YouTube. He's in that category. I think anybody over like a hundred thousand has made it on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah, this guy, he's uh he does very yeah, good. Yeah, Markiplier's top video is three hundred and sixty three million. Yeah, he's autistic. Yeah. Th- this Another, other guy was four and a half million. Yeah, that guy I, I'm not saying he's the f- yeah, I'm yeah. I'm not saying he's crazy. You just crazy said he's very, very, very popular. So I'm he's thinking pretty popular. Like, well, I would say, like, fucking Markiplier and PewDiePie and the ones who get that kind of shit is, like, the fucking, the kings of the tube. Oh, the kings, okay. The kings cool. of the tube, yeah. Yeah, well, when you just said he's very, very popular, I was like, yo, this guy's got to be huge. And it's, like, yeah. 1.1 mil. Oh, shit. I guess compared to what I'm used to seeing, he is pretty pretty up there. But most of the guys I, I watch Compared to what you're mill. seeing versus, like, the status quo right versus what everyone else is saying yeah i don't know but anyway the guy's fucking crazy his content is like very top notch you can see like sometimes he does thought like the thought process like he has one on uh, breaking bad where he does walter and he does uh you know his fucking bitch wife and walter jr and uh jesse and it's insane like, he traces out all the stuff kind of like I did with the pig, where I kind of have the general dimensions out, but he does it the way it's actually supposed to be done. And then you can trace back. It's like, it's crazy. So I've seen some of his stuff, and I'm like, damn, dude. And like, in my head, I'm like, this is exactly what it's going to look like. This guy's fucking videos. And then, like, it, it actually comes out, and it's just steamy Well, shit. you do an excellent job where you say it looks terrible, and you hate it, and you really dislike it, and then people are like, what's the point? And then, like, w- this is bad, and then you just immediately go and defend it head to toe and everything like that. 
That's what you do a lot of times. So it's well, it's one thing if you're like, damn, that didn't turn out the way that I wanted to versus um, actually it's perfect and all of you guys are wrong. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I feel like when I do tear it down and then I go and defend it, that's probably a good sign that maybe it's not coming from a great platform to be defended. So our <laughs> boy Highlight Heaven has 1.27 million subscribers. Mm-hmm. So if on YouTube? Papa Me, yeah, oh, is yeah. very, yeah. very, very, very big. <laughs> Every time then you say this that, you add mean, another very on. This must mean we have an absolute huge fucking guest on our show at one point yeah, in time. One, yeah, yep, massive, yeah. really. Yeah, you definitely don't want to draw like this guy. These are really stupid fucking drawings. They're they're like really good though. Mm. Like if if the if the level of skill was applied differently, it would be very good. Yeah, I think you could say that about a lot of things, though. Not mine. He's probably an Very artist, but um, <laughs> yeah, these are not good pictures. These are really gross to fucking look at pictures. Yeah, yeah that's like the point. It's like very grotesque. Um, yeah, he's good at making shitty fucking pictures. Same. Yeah. I would say you're a better artist than this guy. Yeah, that's definitely a very interesting opinion. So I made a note in here talking about um, sexual assault because of bathroom signs. I did see that. Yeah, I was curious how uh, you were going to attack that one. And I noticed like you have not put any notes in here in a minute. Yeah, I usually so. put them in my phone. Yeah, you can put them in the Discord. Yeah. Um. So I went to a restaurant the other day. I peel around the corner walk down the hallway that has the potties and it has two fucking like it has a sign on each door and it's one of those cute things where oh. like when you go to a Mexican place where it's like amigos and amigas or something yeah. like that yeah so this one I don't really remember what it said but I'm like if it wasn't for like the male or female signs directly underneath this I think I would have to guess which one yeah. I was supposed to go into mm -hmm. because sometimes it's tough yeah like I had a good guess that I was confident in mm -hmm. but I'm like I'm going to go to jail one of these days because I fucking was playing Clash in Spanish class, and I'm going to walk into some woman taking a fat shit that's going to be, be the end. end of burger. Yeah. That's the end. I just, like, the, the, this restaurant did it absolutely perfectly, right, where they had the cute little names, and then they just said man underneath it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, that's the way it needs to be because... I'm sure you could, I'm sure there's people out there that there's some story where someone got in trouble because he read the wrong fucking bathroom signs or something. Yep. So when I was a janitor for my college, when I cleaned the shitters, I yep. remember like you were supposed to knock on the door of the potty. And this is like a, a public restroom too. It's not like a single stall. Mm -hmm. It's got like 10 poopers in it or whatever. And you're supposed to knock on the door and say something like, hello, cleaning? Like something like that. Mm -hmm. And if you don't hear anything, you just go in and start scrubbing. So I didn't like doing that, knocking on the door and yep. shouting. And then someone like, oh, hang on, I'm almost done pooping. <laughs> like, so I, I would just like kind of watch the bathroom. And if... Nobody went in, like, within five minutes or left in five minutes. I just assumed it was empty. Like, fuck it, yeah. And I was really good at that, too, like, multitasking, doing my cleaning and making sure no one was going in the poopers and stuff. And I, it, was my, it was my time to, to go clean the girls' restroom. So I park my thing out in front of it, and I open the bathroom door, and I start walking down, and I see fucking two feet planted on the fucking floor in one of the stalls. Uh oh! <laughs> Just <laughs> <laughs> turned around and ran out of there as fast as I could. Uh huh. And I'm pretty sure she was just shitting away too. Oh yeah, blew the door right open. Yeah, no. So walked right in there. Fucking toes were curled and everything. Yeah, that'd be too much for me. That's you just freeze. Yeah, like she comes out. And you're just staring at her. Like. 
uh, boner uh, and all. Uh, <laughs> you're not supposed to be here. Neither are you. <laughs> exactly. I was. I thought you were gonna say like, "Fuck!" I was watching it for like two hours. Nobody goes in. You walk <laughs> in, some chick just having a real hard time, just losing the battle. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I just I I've I've had that situation though a few times where I'm like standing there, arms crossed with my one hand on my chin, like, hmm, stroking the goatee. Mm-hmm. Which one am I supposed to shit in? Yeah. While I'm just standing there pissing my pants because I'm sta- taking too long to to, <laughs> to think. Mm-hmm. So Yeah. It's really a horrible situation they put you in. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh. Yeah, it's like, fuck it. Guess I'm going to jail. Daddy's yeah. got to poop. Don't care. Yeah. I had to use the women's restroom once after uh, at work. After a fucking B-dubs night. I think it was one of the first few times I tried the blazing wings. It was bad. I'm like, guys, listen. <laughs> I can't do this. Because the guys in there, they're like the dudes they run by. Oh... I make a, uh, whatever, I make a dime while the boss makes a dollar. Better shit on company time, whatever, all those fucking cringe sayings. They're those kind of guys, so they're always in there. You can hear them just fucking playing whatever they play. What do you mean you can hear them? You can hear them. Like, I I, I think I talked about the, the fucking crazy Marine dude just, like, shitting away to Metallica. And I can hear people playing games and shit in there. It's like, okay, that's cool. Oh, well, playing music while you're going potty is a lot different than playing games. Yeah. What do you hear them <laughs> fucking playing like space? Yeah, I just hear somebody like, like cars like smacking against the fucking floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They're doing something in there and or whatever. I ended up having to ask one of the like one of the fucking bosses. I'm like, listen, I need to shit and there's nobody like everybody's in the bathroom. He's like, go on the ladies. I'm like, ah, uh, that's not gonna happen. And eventually I broke down and I had to. That was a rough day. I don't know why I went to detail on that that was just that was yeah tough. you literally just went and shit in a girl's bathroom yeah i felt very dirty see but some would say that i should have felt just at home right ha 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 no i don't think anybody's ever called you a girl like you look like a girl we just call you a fucking faggot yeah just that i like boys oh I yeah understand. it's uh, just my dad difference. who calls me a lesbian yeah Honestly. yeah not bad not bad what else you got going on We've been watching a lot of movies lately, now that you're talking about that. Well, in the past 24 hours, yeah. <laughs> I think I've seen, was that like three movies? Yeah, mm-hmm. the two the two Saws and that fucking weird-ass Beelzebub movie. That shit was wild. It's yeah. spooky season, everybody. Ooh. Time to go to burgers with the red-tinted lights and get in the mood. Yep, and watch spookers. Mm-hmm. It's always fun, too, and afterwards, dude, like when I'm there at your place... Not really freaked out too much. But then, like, that first step out the door, I'm like, ooh. I don't think I thought about that movie even one time after you left. Really? Like, that's just how my brain always works. Like, I can... This movie literally had a nurse stabbing infants, and... Burger's like, hey. like, I'm like, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> Fuck it. Yay. Yeah. No, that one just a little eeky, 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 eeky. It's like those weird things where they like trace it back. Like back in 1940, this thing happened. Like it doesn't even matter if it's like true or not, right? But they just like say it. And I'm like, I'm dead. That's it. Very easy. Very easy to <laughs> to freak out, I guess. Did I ever tell you the trick? That you can do to figure out what year, like what century a year is in. When you uh, talked about like the 1940s, it made me think of this. Because that's technically the, the 20th century, right? Yeah, so yeah, I, I had to look up a video because me and my girlfriend have been playing this shit out of Jeopardy lately. And I'm very good at like guessing like the century uh, yeah. something took place in. But I never knew like how it was labeled. Yeah. Like, you would think, like, something in the 1600s would be the 16th century. But when I watched a video, uh, a century is from zero, like, year one to year 100. Mm-hmm. So then 
the next one starts at one o or one o one and goes to two hundred. Yeah. And then the next one goes from two o one to three hundred. So that's how you can think of it is like if it's in the sixteen hundreds, you would just think the last year in the sixteen century was seventeen hundred. But that guy was really gay in explaining it, and all you got to do is add one to the first <laughs> whatever the two years. numbers. Yeah, so yep. if it's 1754, it's the 18th century. If it's 1369, it's fucking 14th. <laughs> like, it's that fucking simple. Yeah, it's still like, like I get the idea. But I don't. You know people are retarded. Or not even retarded. You know, people are people, right? It's like, well, why do you have to make things overcomplicated? It's a, some like old cocksucker who's like, you know what? Let's do it this way. I just don't understand how like the 12th century is literally 1100 or 1101 to 1200, yeah. and you're gonna choose the one number. There's nine. What is that? 99 fucking numbers or whatever that start off with 11. And then the very last one is what decides the entire fucking thing. Yeah. It's cool. Very, That's gay. very cool. It couldn't be the one that, you know, comes at the beginning and is the whole thing. A majority, like 99.99% of it. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that helps out my Jeopardy trivia a little bit. Yeah. It's like the same thing. I was looking at porn. Yeah. No, I was I was looking at like a drink or whatever and it says, "Oh, this sometimes uh, like a little Coke bottle or whatever whatever will say like uh, <laughs> fucking turn into a 6-year-old there. My bad. Turn into an autistic person there." <laughs> yeah. So the ca- pop can sometimes will say like 12 ounces or whatever. Okay, maybe the pop can isn't a good representation. I have I'm trying to limit like dance around this but i'm a fat piece of shit and i have a gigantic tub of m&ms on my desk at home and it says it's like i know uh, i ate some yeah they're good it's like it's like two pounds four ounces or whatever and it's like nobody knows what the fuck an ounce is maybe my mom because she cooks a lot or like nerds or something but then you look at the other like the metric system or whatever and it's just in grams like everything's in in grams and then it's like it's like this retarded complicated number like four pounds two ounces or 300 grams like and then it's like you hear that cringe shit where they're like actually the whole point of the foot is there was a king 1900 years ago and that was the size of his his foot his cock yeah Yeah. it's also not like one-to-one like that like i always like i remember i was talking to some guy that was like from Australia or something, and we were talking about our bench press records, and he says his was like yeah kilograms or whatever two hundred and thirty kilograms or something, mm-hmm. and I looked up how many kilograms or yeah. how, what that is to pounds, yeah. and it was like twenty pounds off, like it was like two fifty or something. I'm, I'm literally spitballing numbers. Don't write take this as a science. But okay, I was gonna say I know what the conversion is, but yeah. It, so it was like. 250 and I'm like oh so it's just 20 pounds less than pounds so then I was like I did another thing and I'm like then like 300 kilograms like is not 20 pounds away from the original it's fucking like a million pounds I'm like this is gay yeah yeah kilograms are crazy the whole thing's fucked yeah and then it's like you hear people on on YouTube yeah 230 on. kilograms is 507 pounds so that's not yeah. what he was benching but no it's it's 2.2 kilograms per pound I think yeah that's fucking stupid like I hate that yeah it's like cool very fucking badass it's just it's dumb and it's nice everything's like nice I'm not and even round. saying like our, us American measurements are the uh the proper way I just hate when shit like just that the fact like, that there's two different ones or one. yeah it's like why can't it be even it's just <laughs> like three feet the other. for every one yard or something like that mm-hmm. like every time it's always three feet for one yard yep and then you're like okay a meter's a little bit longer than a yard so then uh we're gonna say 10 meters is about not and it's like it's like it's not a million yards yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay i give up <laughs> it's like cool thanks 
It's like that meme shit. where it's like when you're doing a math problem and it's taking you 15 minutes on the test to do it, and you and it's like seven with a fraction of one and, and over two, and you're like, yes, that's it. And then you look at the answers, and it's like in percent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or it's like 10-digit numbered lungs, and you're like, damn. <laughs> Fuck. I've had that happen. Like, okay, the answer's four, and the uh, fucking answers they give you is like 630,892,000. Yup. Gorge. Damn. I had that happen in my grad school where I thought all the answers were B or something like that. Mm-hmm. Or they were all false. And I'm like, wow, I haven't had one of these in a long time. And they were, it wasn't even close. <laughs> it wasn't even close. I was like looking to the left. We're like, yo, guys, you getting this too? <laughs> yo, I'm a genius. Yo, holy shit. I had some shit the other day, dude. I was taking a test and it's like, it's like a notoriously really hard class and like for my major program or whatever. And I'm like, damn dude, I know all of this shit. Like I'm kicking ass. I get to the end. I'm like, Oh yeah, dude, like a hundred percent on this thing. Turn it in, get fucking like 10 points out of a hundred. Yeah, I've like, had that happen many oh, times in college. Like, Oh, I'm retarded. Cool. Thank you for letting me know. I've had that happen plenty of times, and I'm like, I actually, they're like, Berger, how'd you do on that test? And I'm like, I killed it. I, I have no doubt in my mind. Oh, like, yeah. Really? And I'm like, yeah, no, I, 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 I'm not even trying to be a dick. Like, I 100% aced that. And they're like, I, <laughs> I was start freaking out. I think I did so, so bad on it and everything. Yeah. And then tests come back, and I'm like, what'd you get? And they're like, oh, I got an A-. minus. I'm so relieved. What'd you get? Yeah, I failed it, so you can fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, here we are. That happened to me one time when we were doing some kind of ropes course thing for school. Okay. Where it's just like this this rope course up in the air, like it's suspended up in the air, and you got to – it's like 40 feet up in the trees and shit, and you get to cross like balance beams and climb and do all sorts of shit. And I just remember looking at it with my arms crossed. I'm like – Hmm. One guy was kind of freaking out, and I'm like, yeah, this is going to be no problem. Literally, like, no issues at all. He's like, I don't know, dude. I'm kind of scared of heights and everything. And I'm like, yeah, no, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of them, but this ain't going to be, this is pussy shit, dude. And then, <laughs> right, we're chilling. And then, yeah, once I got up there, I was scared fucking shitless. I wasn't even trying to, like, play it off, like, as a badass. Like, I, I 100%, I'm one of those people that, like, 100% will believe in myself. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I can do this. Yeah, no problem. And then I get fucked. <laughs> right. Like, shit, maybe not. Yeah, I remember I went to, like, there was, like, a huge school school trip, and we all went to this, like, camp or whatever, and they had a huge rope, not a rope. Well, yeah, they had a rope course, and then they had, like, a the zip line thing. And you had to, like, for the zip line, you had to get in this fucking crazy harness and and everything like all these safety measures to do it and i went to the fucking top and my knees literally buckled i just sat you on the off. edge what do you mean they buckled yeah fuck yeah that's like one of those things where you see like if that was on impractical jokers or something they just push that stupid fuck right off mm-hmm. i think i saw they were doing skydiving or something they just throw that motherfucker right off the plane like oh okay yeah that's not how that one happened but sure oh Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Maybe I'm thinking They've of that just They've gone skydiving, but uh, he was like hooked up to a professional skydiver. Mm-hmm. All that shit. I think I yeah. During our thing, we were talking about the oh my god, some of that uh, the cave diving shit. That stuff too. Those are like the two worst natural fears of mine. I don't remember if we were on stream or if that was just during a... That was probably during a stream, wasn't it? Yeah, because we beat out last. Yeah. We were in the fucking shitty, dank caves. Yeah, we finally beat uh, Outlast after about three years of not beating it. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a relief. Those are tough games to play. Yeah. Um, and anybody's like, no, they're not. Those were easy. I'm like, okay, yeah, you're not normal. Fuck you. <laughs> you're, you're, you're 100% objectively not normal. <laughs> I hate people yeah. that are like that. Like, mm, I saw that uh, scene uh, where they stabbed all the babies, and I thought it was funny because I'm <laughs> yeah. fucking edgy. Because I'm cool. 
Yeah, I'm cool. It was seen boring to me. <laughs> yeah, I actually fell asleep during that part. <laughs> yeah, no, that shit drives me nuts. So it's just like if if it wasn't scary to you, you can say that. But it's like uh, it's like people are a hundred percent trying to flex with it. Mm-hmm. It's like you're not cool. Like, do people yeah. think like, yo, this guy's so fucking cool. He's not scared of anything. <laughs> I think so, actually, yeah. That would make sense. I mean, I don't know anybody who does stuff like that. <laughs> One particular person comes to mind. Yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> so, changing topics, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the podcast, I want you to know how much easy uh, it is for your 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 boy burger here to just slay yeah yeah i can't even walk out of my apartment without people saying hey do you want my number yep yep that was and that was, was a fun. witness yep uh yep i was i was there for the occasion yep so no this was actually super fucking weird and i didn't like it i got this uh neighbor next door and she lives with her boyfriend and i i haven't talked to her one time yet because the guys that used to live there before her were i went i didn't go to high school with them but i like played sports with them and shit growing up a little bit so they moved out so the new neighbors came in and i just didn't talk to them i don't i don't know i don't like fucking talking to people i don't know so Mm -hmm. I haven't talked to him yet. And then the boys came over, uh, me, Bert, Tater, and one of our other friends came over and we were going to go grab some din. You just hang out, have a boys night. We're chilling. So we walk out of my house, my apartment, and she's out there working on her truck or something. She says hi to me for the first time. I was like, hey. Like she, she knew it was me, like I was the one that lived there, so... She didn't say it to any of the other guys, so she must have put the dots together because yeah. all four of us came out at the at the same time. And then she goes, do you want my number? <laughs> You're like, sure. I guess. Yeah, I think you were kind of like, yeah, sure. I, I, I think I literally said, why? Yeah. It's like, why? The fuck, why? She's like, oh, because I'm weird. <laughs> yeah. So she goes, oh, I just know you guys, you have people come over and you, you're you here clearly having a boys video game night. So if you need me to just text me to move my car, I can do that. Yep. Well, I see you and your friends are all virgins. and uh... <laughs> Yeah, and I was like. <laughs> like, I don't know okay. these guys. <laughs> okay. So I walked up and I gave her my phone and she put her, her name in my, in my contacts and then. She said that she makes hats if any uh, any of my friends want a hat. Yeah. <laughs> I think me and, must, me and one of the guys are just time. looking at each other like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Do you want a hat? <laughs> we had no idea what the fuck was going on. Yeah. And uh, she says something like, um, oh, you played them multiplayer games. I only play single player games. Mm-hmm. I'm not into that co-op stuff. Yeah, it was something along those lines. Okay. So we get in the truck, and Tater's immediately pissed off. He's like, boy, I didn't realize I gave off that fucking kind of gay energy. (laughs) Like, nah, she probably just looked at Bert and came to that conclusion. Just assumed, yeah. Yeah. So immediately, I have to let my woman know about this. And boy, did I get an ass chewing. (laughs) That was so funny. I didn't even put the dots together. Like it was such a normal, not a normal encounter by any means, but it was like a. Yeah, it was as quite as um, not normal as you possibly could get, almost. Yeah. Within reasons, like there was nothing, absolutely nothing normal about that. E. So, um, yeah, my lady's like she wants to play video games with you. Tell her to fuck off and all this shit. And I'm like, yes, love. Of course. I will yeah, do, I, I, mean, do. I already sent it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I already said fuck you. <laughs> yeah. 
Exactly. No, so I did messenger like so she you know how you text people so they have your number and stuff. Yeah. So I said like my name and whatever. My name's Bert. And, and then she hearted it. Or not hearted it. She thumbs up. Babe, she 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 thumbs up that she didn't heart it, I promise. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's she's probably gonna listen to this episode and yell at me later. But <laughs> yeah. just like Tater does. But um <laughs> Uh huh. There's a list uh, really. She, she she liked it and then the only reason, like, I think my grandma was like, why the fuck did you text her? And I'm like, well, to be honest, I kind of wanted her to, you know, to know, like, she, like, she has my number now, so she can text me, hey, uh, I understand Madden's a really shitty game, but can you fucking pipe it down over there? <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm so curious, like, how much people can hear. That's literally why I did it. I wanted to know, like, when, you know, when I'm getting intimate. <laughs> right. How or, thin are these walls? Yeah, exactly. When yeah. I'm getting intimate with my significant other. Uh-huh. Um, or when I'm literally, like, hitting my face against my controller. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and things of that nature. You hear when I break shit. <laughs> yeah, or when I, like, I literally, like, fucking, like, oh, like, I want to yeah. hear that. Like, I, so I, I figured, I was like, hey, if I do this, you can at least text me, like, hey, can you quiet down? Please stop. Or something. Yeah. So then I can know like what I can and can't do. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I, I've only talked to this lady a couple times, but this is our second encounter with her, and I think she's a huge fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah. She had a very like scary aura about her. Well, I there's guess. more to it. So my yeah. my girlfriend came over like a month ago or something. Oh yeah, yep. And she pulled into the parking space, whatever. Our apartments are all right next to each other, ladies and gents. So like, everyone just shares a parking lot, and there's parking spaces like in front of your apartment. So my girlfriend pulls in around the same time that my neighbor pulls in, and um. You know, my girlfriend pulls in, she turns her car off, looks at her phone for a second, and looks up, and the neighbor is just standing in front of her car. So my lady gets out, and she's like, or opens the door, whatever, hello, and she's like, hey, are you going in that end apartment? And my lady's like, yeah. She's like, okay, uh, do you think you can move your car, because that's where my boyfriend parks, and I've heard parking can get really crazy around here. So, a couple things. Huh. The amount of balls you have to have to purposely oh, stand yeah. in front of Buddy's car with your arms crossed, tapping your foot to somebody you don't even know. Yeah. Okay. This might be the same chick that went to co- like showed up at my college and like, so this is my pad. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of that kind of energy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then, second of all, Miss, I've been here for two years. You've been here for two weeks. Mm-hmm. I've never in my life had any issues with parking. And I've never heard anybody say parking gets crazy. There's not a time where parking gets more crazy than other times. Like, again, I've been here for two fucking years. And also, you park in accordance to your apartment. Like, Mm -hmm. our apartments... I'm I'm trying to paint a picture for the audience. My apartment complex is spread out. Like, you don't... Not everyone's going through the same door or anything like that. Like, you have your very own separate, like, thing. So... You can park in front of your apartment. So, basically, if you don't park in, quote-unquote, your spot, you are literally making it so you have to walk farther away. Like, anytime you don't park in your spot, you have to walk farther kind of thing. So, there's no reason not to park in your spot. Nobody wants to park in your spot (laughs) because they want to be as close to their fucking door as possible. So, yeah, again, never heard this in my life. So I had to get in my girlfriend's car and back it out, and I just parked it one spot over. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, shit, here we go, there we go. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. So then, you know, so my lady's telling me that, and I'm pissed. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? What a dick. Like, what a bitch. So I'm mad about this. This is the image I have of her. Mm Mm-hmm. And I start to notice it's only her truck in these parking spots lately. <laughs> Uh-oh. Like, okay. I never see this other car here. Mm-hmm. 
and I when I went over there to, to give her my number or whatever, she she was saying something. Yeah, just let me know. And I'm like, yeah, are you the only one here, like living in this building? And she goes, yeah. I'm like, huh? Well, you weren't perfect. because you, yeah. So perfect for you, Bert. Um, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, because uh, because she literally was like my boy. That's my boyfriend's spot. And now she's saying she's the only one that lives there. Mm-hmm. Wonder why she's single. <laughs> right. Like, huh. You know, <laughs> yeah, this is the Sherlock. <laughs> the epiphany moment. The light bulbs are popping. Yep. You're like, ah. I can paint the entire picture. <laughs> no, I've been here for a few years, and I think the only time I heard anything next door to me was when my neighbor was practicing his trombone. I <laughs> shit you not. That motherfucker was fuck? blowing on a trombone. <laughs> what the hell? And it was like a one-time thing, like within the first week of me being here. I've never heard anything since then. That's nuts. I don't hear music. I don't hear shit dropping or anything, so. Wow. Knock on wood, of course. And you know me. Like, I'm very fucking sensitive to sound like that like when mm-hmm. I'm trying to sleep or something, so. Yeah. Yeah, that but would yeah. definitely piss me off. I'm not even literally like, weird about that stuff, but yeah. But no, I was just gonna say, literally, just walking out the door, not even five seconds, just some female just throwing her number at me. <laughs> you're like shit. But like, once you talk to this chick, you're not surprised that she did that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Maybe she has autism too. Yeah, there's some people that are just like extremely comfortable with. Stuff like that. Or, I guess, yeah, maybe it's just autistic. You just don't know. <laughs> You're being <laughs> yeah. weird as fuck. I honestly probably think it's like a cultural thing. It's probably where, you, where you're where you from and where you're yeah, growing up. Yeah, she's like probably that. from a different part of the state. I remember I, I, was, I was reading some, like, random sex fact or something like that where the uh, average person has, like, in New York, sleeps with, like, 50-plus people or yeah. something like that. Yeah. And people are, like, literally, that's, like, nothing. Like, no one... Like, <laughs> that's nothing. Like, people There's are sleeping with numbers. each other all the time. <laughs> they don't even mean that in a, like, oh, look at me, I'm looking at all this fucking ass. Like, no, that's just, like, <laughs> what they do there. Like, Nothing better what? to do. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, no, I don't know. Like, it's like our, our, our parents are a lot easier to talk to people on the phone than, than we are. Yep. Like, Anytime something's wrong with Amazon, all I hear is, call them, call them, call them. Hey, uh, Grandma, I'm not fucking calling Amazon, okay? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. $10 yeah. phone charger don't work, call them. No, I'm good. I will get into a uh, chat, and I get mean in chats. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I've talked about this in other episodes, but Daddy gets mean in chats. <laughs> yeah. You definitely, like, I mean, it's good, though. You got to stick up for yourself. Can't just let them fuck you around. I don't stick up for myself. I talk about how shit their project is. <laughs> yeah. Why the fuck are you selling this? this <laughs> Literally, I will say that. I, it'll just be weird. I'll be like, they'll be like, hey, what can I do for you? And I'll be like, uh, the phone charger you got, I bought recently is broken. It's fucking garbage. <laughs> and they'll be like, so let me get this straight. You are saying the most recent order that you placed is defective? And I will literally text out. I'll literally say, I don't know how you could get this confused, but yes, that is what I'm saying. Like, I say, like, petty shit like that all the fucking time. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, fuck them for being dumb. I say Uh, that even though that's how I mainly get in trouble with you, but... Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe that's why you're so good at it. You have all this practice with the fucking retards at Amazon. Well, they ain't from Roundy's parts either, you know. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. English ain't their first, second, third, or seventh language. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good feedback, Bert. Anyways. Yeah, I was um, thinking about changing the topic, but I'm like, nah, I can't. Okay, change it. Well, that's not really changing, but it's adjacent thing. I was just going to okay, say. Okay, adjacent it then. I was just going to say I've had that at. at <laughs> is my, like my my bank. Hopefully that's not too much. but <laughs> Yeah, so I have a Do bank. You... Oh, my God. I fucking hate you so much. So, so I have a bank. I'm not saying it's local, but I'm just saying they probably don't need an old bank I go to, but. 
but yeah, so I go to that bank and, uh, and, and dude, I always have issues with my card. Like I, a couple years ago I got into crypto and I'm like, damn, yeah, I really want to do this. I, the fucking cocksuckers, you have to wire transfer and most apps let you do it like through the fucking app or most banks let you do it through their app. I had to like jump through so many hoops. I had to talk to like the executive branch manager of, of the one in our, our town and like sit down they're like like you know they're mouthing to me like do you have like like is this a terrorist thing <laughs> like, do you have something strapped to you like like are you getting embezzled or whatever the word is and i'm like no i'm i'm trying to put money into this fucking app that the official boys recommended to me and she's like oh okay oh, okay charlie and them yeah yeah so it's like it's just so gay, and then like my card took a shit, and I had to call their their um support, their tech support or whatever is fucked. It's just like you hear shit in the back that it's kind of like they say, oh yeah, well you can hear other people in the background. There's like you know that's how the um the scammers have like farms where they just like just you were about to say a racist term, weren't you? No, I wasn't. Yeah, you did. You had to stop and pause for a second. It wasn't racial. And you kind of leaned into the fucking microphone. It was so. just like, it was just like, I was going to say. Uh, it's like you looked to your left and put your hand over the mic to make sure your roommates weren't looking. And then you <laughs> lifted your hand up like in a cupped fashion. And you're like, they're scammers. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to profile uh, the, the the region that they're from. but mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you I know, know what you're about to I say. I wasn't going to use a bad word about Yes, that. you were. There's only a couple I know, but none for them specifically. Oh um, my gosh! <laughs> but but still, but still, and sometimes it's not even them. Like sometimes it's just like a like somebody who sounds like they just fucking rolled out of bed. Like, what do you want? Uh, you can like hear me eating a fucking bagel in the background or something. It's like a um, bagel, huh? Because those are so fucking loud. <laughs> you can hear him just like eating a PB and J. Yeah, um, like, I remember huh. I called, I called somebody one time and um, it was to play like baseball on some turf field, and I'm like, yo, we got like a turf thing in our area, let's go to it. So I hit up the cuz, I hit up my brother and all that, and I went to call the number to um, <laughs> to, Wait. to book it, and uh, the guy just goes, oh, hello, <laughs> yeah, and I'm like. Hi. <laughs> you sound busy. Am I interrupting something? <laughs> yeah, like, can you Just imagine your dick back calling him? like calling B dubs and then like hello? It's like fuck. Yeah. What do you want? It's like fuck. And I was I said, Is this is this the place where you call to rent out the baseball fields or whatever? And it sounded like he was like really like <laughs> like he had his phone between his shoulder and his head like, uh-huh. and he was like had both of his hands in a car engine and he was really like pulling back on a wrench he's like yeah, yeah. so <laughs> literally so i went on the website gave him my money and everything like that showed up nobody checked nobody asked nothing i think i just fucking gave him money for nothing <laughs> very nice i thought you were going to say that that was the field where they're like, this place is supervised and we have mines around the perimeter. So if you step on this field without our permission, you're going to get fucking blown up. Without $25? Yeah. 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 Five it's bucks just... or death. Which one is it, buddy? Yeah. You know. choose, but your life is worth, guys, buddy. It's, it's okay. It's okay. 25 is fine. Fuck. Good. Okay. Sorry. Glad we're that. on the same page. Yeah. So speaking of the same page, I uh, <clears throat> I made a, another note in here that I want to talk about, and I thought about this one late. Let's see, when did I when did I post this? When did I post this one? Hmm. One twenty one in the morning. Okay, so <laughs> so it's a good one. Yep. I was uh, in Tater's wedding last year, and um while him and his wife were taking about six hours worth of pictures just making oh, yeah. everybody else wait outside in the that sun was dog shit yeah tater you could have fucking opened <laughs> a fucking vent or something like seriously come on 
literally, they're just sitting there like he's kissing her on the cheek, he's kissing her on this cheek, he's kissing her titties, he's fucking her in the ass, <laughs> while his elderly grandma's fucking wiggling in the fucking 90 degree sun, wanting a glass of water, but we have to wait. Begging for a glass, yeah. Yep. So, I, and then, you know, at least you guys, the people that were just attending the wedding, you went over, you could play some cornhole. They had some water for you. You could go chat. Nope, us bridesmaids and groomsmen had to just sit there and just wait fucked. while he's butt-fucking her in the woods. <laughs> and <laughs> um, we're, and okay. I'm, I'm sitting there in this, like, 35-pound fucking sweater. I don't know if you remember yeah, how heavy those fucking jackets one. were. Yeah, yeah, they were very heavy. And it's just like, you know, go do your thing, guys. It's fine. Go get go get your pictures and everything. Um, usually, I think you take the pictures with your groom and then your bridesmaid and then the husband and wife go do their own thing for a mm-hmm. bit, right? But you That's know, fine. Tater, That's fine. Tater's definitely they're like, you can fucking wait. <laughs> yep. So while we were waiting, the pastor was talking about something, and he goes, we were talking about something, and it was like, oh, yeah, no, it's like that uh, one movie that uh, Michael Myers was in. What's it called? What's it called? That's what he was saying. And uh, one of the girls is like, Halloween, because Michael Myers is a fucking serial killer and Halloween. And he's like, no, 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 it's that one that's super inappropriate. Uh, And I'm like, Austin Powers? He's like, yeah, 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 thanks, Burger. Yeah, anytime. Well... Twelve hours ago, while I was laying in bed, <laughs> a year later, yep. he said, "No, no, the one that's super inappropriate." Yep. Now, I've always been kind of obsessed with the meanings of words. Yeah, I I don't know if it's the George Carlin and me poking fun at him or what, but. What do you mean by inappropriate here, Pastor? Because yeah. inappropriate for children? Like, maybe if he said that, that would make sense. Mm-hmm. Because I was thinking about this. Inappropriate's a very subjective thing, right? Yeah, like for who? Exactly. So, and now I should have said this to him. I should have grabbed my chin and be like, what do you mean by inappropriate? <laughs> yeah. Like, I, it, it, it's, it's so weird how humans can consistently use words incorrectly and we still know what the person meant. You yep. know what I mean? Yeah, so, I do that a lot. Yes, you fucking do. Big so, th- but this, this, yours is like retarded where you will literally have words that everyone knows and just assign a different definition to them. <laughs> this is just a common society mistake of mis pronouncing or misusing a word or whatever Mm -hmm. so he says that movie that's super inappropriate now what do you mean by inappropriate because inappropriate for kids like yeah a kid probably shouldn't be watching uh uh, 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 a movie like that because they can uh, they don't know boundaries they don't know when to not use these things they could grow up saying fuck them in the pussy when they're six you know what i mean like they have young fragile minds that can be shaped into Yeah, bad things. Or if a kid sees a horror movie, it can really fucking scare the shit out of the kid, kind of thing. Like it, I, I, I've lived that personally, where I fucking, where I know what you mean by being scared to go outside. Fuck, I would, to be too scared to fucking do anything when I watch these scary things. So inappropriate for children, yeah. But then I was like, you know, we're adults, we're men, we're we're big and strong. I'm big and strong. I'm. Oh yeah. I identify as a male. I like women. Mm-hmm. Sorry to just include you into that, Bert. <laughs> Good things um, to have. Yeah. But, like, could you, like, imagine if it was, like, inappropriate for adults. Like, how bad does something have to be in order for it to be inappropriate for an adult, dude? Like, we're talking peak brain development, right? Yeah. And you're thinking this is inappropriate? So I'm thinking, like, that baby stabbing movie we saw yesterday, but you actually get to see everything. Yeah. I think at that point, it almost is, like, based on the environment. Like, not safe for work is inappropriate shit at 
work. Exactly. Like, right. that one makes sense. Or, like, watching that movie at church is probably inappropriate. Yeah, so... Like inappropriate for church or something. Like yeah. I feel like you have to you have to There's specify an extra it. layer. Yeah. So it's just like Austin Powers versus Burj Khalifa or whatever fucking gay movie we just watched last <laughs> night. Yeah. Um. Like those are two very different inappropriates. I would think. Yeah, I would have to agree with you. But yeah, I just I just thought that was funny. He's like that movie that's super inappropriate. I'm like Austin Powers. That's like a bunch like a bunch of poop and fart jokes and yeah. maybe a little sexy time scenes and like that's it like inappropriate but he is a pastor of course so his threshold's a little bit different different yeah oh uh, yeah i was just like yeah imagine inappropriate for adults like how <laughs> like yeah, that, that like when you see like nc-17 like in that blonde movie you know it's gonna be fucked yeah like rated r is like the standard for like 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 oh wow that's that's insane versus whoa dude that's what? that's fucked up and i know like one time when i when i was in one of my classes my one of my professors talked about being envious of somebody and being jealous of somebody yep and the way he explained it is everybody uses the word jealousy wrong the word envious is how we should be using, or is how we use jealous, jealously, or jealous, jealousy? There it is, jealousy. Yeah. So we should be using the word envious the same way we use jealousy, and then jealousy is like nobody uses that correctly. Like, because being jealous of something is actually kind of bad. Yeah. Like, you're starting to get into uncharted territory uh, and some other feelings are coming into play right right but being envious is something is like oh man i would love th- i'd love to have something like that and that's it yeah like yeah, that's oh man you I went to y- you went to hawaii uh for spring break damn i wish i could have gone yeah. and that's it but that's not what jealousy is jealousy is way deeper than that like jealousy is like uh the patient uh, with Steve Carell, where he fucking t- he steals his therapist and chains him to the fucking basement of his mom's house. Because mm-hmm. he really like he like he doesn't want anybody to he doesn't want him to oh. therapy anybody else, so he's mine kind of thing. Or like the That's, relationship thing is that where it's one where it's more accurate. Well, I mean, that's what it is. It's a relationship with this therapist. But that doesn't even happen in that therapist movie, but... Yeah. Or TV show, but... Jealousy is just a lot deeper than that. Like, if someone's... Like, if you're like, oh, I'm jealous, you should be like, your eye should be big. And you look at him like, chill, dude. (laughs) Yeah. I see. Like, oh, man, that's a cool pen the boss gave you. I'm jealous. Like, like you might kill me because you want this pen this badly? Like... Chill, yeah. Like, chill, dude. It's it's just a pen. You can have it. Uh-huh. But it would be weird if you literally were like, oh, she gave you a pen. I'm so envious. Yeah, that sounds a little, like, hardcore. Mm-hmm. Well, that's another thing, too. Like, you got to know... Like, there's a place in time to correct people, and then there's a place in time to be, like, you just brush it off because, like, you're, like, I'm literally not going to pump the brakes right now just to correct them. <laughs> you sound like I dick. know what they're trying to say. Uh-huh. The only person I do that with is you because you do it all the fucking time and yeah. it's annoying. Y- yeah, yeah. So... But no, I, I I just thought that was interesting. It's just like if someone's je- like legitimately jealous of something that's like a serious issue, kind of. I I'm not saying it's life and death, like you're gonna turn into fucking Ted Bundy or something, but <laughs> it, it, it can kind of turn into like a woe was me thing. Like, how come he gets a hot wife with big titties and I'm here with this ugly fat whore? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that's that's kind of jealousy, uh, uh kind of thing. Versus, you know, envious, uh, envy. Like, I don't think you can be envious of somebody's life or something. Like, you can be like, that's what I want, but it's not specifically him. It's just like, I would like a life where I'm happy like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
So, yeah, same thing with this whole inappropriate thing. Like, it's super... Like, huh? Like, it's a super inappropriate movie. I'm like, inappropriate for who? Like, is it inappropriate for... Like, Burton Burger? Is it inappropriate? There are things that are inappropriate for B&B, guys, believe it or not. Yep, very smart. There are certain things we won't either talk about or certain things we won't say because that is inappropriate for us. unspoken rules, yeah. Yeah, it's not unspoken. We very much talked about what we did and didn't want to talk about. Oh, yeah. See, like, right there, right there was an example. Like, you said something incorrect. Yeah, that's what I meant. I would have usually (laughs) just let it go, but for (laughs) you specifically, I try to point out all the times you're fucking retarded. All my flaws, yeah. Yeah. Which doesn't get annoying, by the way, in case you're wondering. It also doesn't get annoying, by the way, of you fucking saying things wrong all the fucking time and then defending how they're actually right afterwards. And then you have fucking a ton of people telling you how you're wrong and you're like, actually, you guys are the ones that are looking into it too fucking much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's usually the happened in the Discord where multiple people were saying you were wrong, and you're like, I think you guys are looking into it too deeply. Oh, yeah, Bert? Yeah. That's why you're sending fucking paragraphs defending your fucking self, jackass? Yeah, defending yourself online is fucking gay. I mean, it, I mean, it is online, but it's our Discord with our fucking three admins. Yeah. And you don't sound too much better in person to be honest <laughs> yeah i feel like you actually make more sense online not i don't like the texting though i guess maybe it's okay well you text okay well you're te- if you don't like to text but it's better than you in person and let me tell you ladies and gentlemen his texting arguments are fucking terrible yeah so if he's better than that, it's just like when we played Jackbox yesterday. Like Bert's the first person I've ever seen get negative and fibbage and fucking literally no money in the patently stupid yeah. thing. I don't like those ones. The patently ones are so bad. I'm so fucking cringe. I'm just like so unbelievably uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. So I don't like those ones. <laughs> those are very much not my favorite. Otherwise, a lot of the other ones are fun. I mean, it's kind of cool. Like, it's less... I mean, it's, it's, it's. I think, like you say, it's more about knowing the group that you're playing with to be able to really get well, the it's just like, in So, there. with Fibbage, it's like you have to make up a lie. And it'll give you a trivia question, folks. And then you have to come up with a lie of the answer. So, it'll be like, why are cows... Uh, d- black and white and then you put in a lie into why it is that way so like when people are just saying like the words come and pussy <laughs> and colon and, and shit like that it's like guys because then afterwards okay so the game is they ask you a trivia question and you have to write in the answer on why you think it is. And it has to be a lie, obviously. Like, if you guess the truth, it'll be like, nope, that's the truth. you got to guess a lie. And then after everyone puts their lies up there, it shows everyone's answers mixed in with the actual answer. So then it's your job to then guess the right answer. The whole point in the game is to try to get people to pick your lie. But the thing is, is you want your lie to be believable. So when it's just like, uh, why did the guy create Where's Waldo? And someone's like, because he's a fucking pussy. It's like, (laughs) huh, well, it's probably not that one. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, at least in my own um, way that I play, sometimes I do that because it's like, how do you pass up the opportunity? Now, sometimes when it's just like, haha, funny, he said come, um, then it's not good. But when it's like, when it fits in there good, you're like, how do I fuck? Like, how, how do I? Well, that's do an exception. I'm talking about like the norm a... here. So oh, I see. it's just, it's just like everyone just saying pussy, come, pee pee, boobs. <laughs> okay. Every single time. It's just like, do you guys not know how this game works? It's like that split the room thing where you want to put a fucking situation to where you want people to say one or the other Mm -hmm. and everyone's like you either have to give your grandma a big hug and tell you you love her or go funk a fuck a bunch of cats (laughs) which one would you do (laughs) hmm 
grandma. Like, yeah, I would rather hug my grandma. <laughs> hmm. I think one of mine. Are you, wait, we're talking about the split the room one? Yeah. <laughs> I think mine was like, yeah. It's like an entire bu- This isn't what it is, but it's similar. It's like an entire bus people, bus full of people are going to explode if, if you don't, like, you know, do this uh, this thing. Okay, I fucked up the scenario, but it was like, would you it rather was, do it or have you have, have to your- rent out a venue for your parents' like anniversary. <laughs> well, that was one of them. And they wanted a karaoke bar, <laughs> and you could get them the karaoke bar, but... A hundred percent, twenty four seven on the TVs is an interracial gangbang. Do you still <laughs> rent out the bar? And everyone was like, "No." <laughs> I'm like, when the, the whole fuck? point is to split the room, you want some people to say yes and some people to say no. So Bert just goes for like the extremist, like fucking scenario. Yeah, it's like, all right, mom and dad, you get your karaoke bar, but you have to watch interracial gangbangs in order to do so. Yeah, yeah, that one was silly. No, I think, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> now the other one, I feel like you guys didn't read it right because that one was actually funny. There's one another of... one, ladies and gentlemen. Do you remember? There's what five this one people was? here. Uh, I did it right. All four of you just read it incorrectly. <laughs> Every one of you did. It was funny. It was like, yeah, it was like you or one other person like gets a birthday gift, and if you don't take it, then they get it or something like that. And it was like, I yeah, I don't remember. It's something about cock and ball torture. You guys, I'm like, huh? No, you guys wanted that, huh? Damn. And that was like that was the joke part that like you guys were like, oh, haha. Yeah, if it takes that much of explaining, it's not that good of a joke. Yeah, right? I thought it was funny. You had to like read everything, and it was like very particular. We and, like, did shit. Uh, read everything. You think we just skipped over like six words or something? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, like damn, these guys are fucking uncultured, dude. Yeah, you say that everywhere. So you say that in the Discord. You say that to me. You also say it to these people that you play Jackbox with. Like, can you please take a fucking hint? Oh, my God. About what? Even your family says, like, the same fucking things. About what? About how wrong you are about things. And then you're like, no, you guys are the wrong one. I could probably think of, like, 30 people right now that... 30 people that fucking disagree with you on shit. And you're like, "Mm, actually, all 30 of you are wrong. Go fuck yourself. See, but it's so much easier to defend by saying, "Mm, I'm actually right, instead of... You're not defending anything, though. See, but that's kind of what it is, You're showing how much of an insecure bitch you fucking are. (laughs) No. No. I feel like that's that looks better than actually going into hypothesis or you know your fucking doctoral or a thesis. That's what you're doing though. You literally just did that. You're like you have to read every word of it and you have to really think about it. You really have to concentrate oh, with that one, yeah. and you have to talk about what the Latin word of this one means as well. And then all of a sudden you might get a good like, nose bam, breather out of that one. That's the money shot for real. Yeah, that is the fucking doctorate fucking analysis of it right fucking there. It's, the it's fucking Jackbox. It's supposed to be fucking slapstick humor, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, actually, you guys really need to fucking study your Japanese in order to get this. Yeah. You know, see, you guys would understand if you weren't dumb. You sound like my fucking geometry teacher in 10th grade that said that we... Every single one of us failed the fucking test. Like, this the highest was like a D minus, and he's like, "You guys need to stop fucking around in class and start paying attention better." <laughs> That's literally retarded. how you're sounding right now. <laughs> yeah, that teacher's a fucking pimp. Literally, that's what he said. He's like, the reason why you guys don't get this is because you guys don't pay attention and you don't listen. You're always cracking jokes. You're never fucking paying attention. And we're like, if that's the case, Teach, how come everybody failed it? You think everybody here likes each other and we just have our fucking butt cheeks to your fucking chalkboard the entire time? 
I mean, I do know 90% of the people who went to your school, which is four people. And uh, I can definitely see how that guy could have came to the conclusion that you guys were all gay. So, like, once again, the fucking (laughs) hypothetical that you came up in your head is harder to believe than the actual fucking truth. What are you talking about? What did I say that was confusing there? I mean, I feel like what I said was very to the point, but... But it's also very out there and not true. That's the whole point and why I brought it up is because what he said was obviously wrong when you have fucking 30 people that fail a test and you want to blame it on the 30 See, people and this is the, rather this is than the, the part one of the teacher. joke. This is like I'm not serious about what I just said. The funny part is is what I – because it's so out there. First of all, you know it's 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 exaggerative comedy because I said that there's six people – or I said 90% of your glass, whatever, was the six, right? So that already is a lie. So, yeah, you're literally like the <laughs> fucking geometry teacher where the, the entire f- class fails and you're like, actually, I didn't do a bad job no, teaching. I, I'm saying you f- all did a bad job of listening. When the foundation of on. the defense is a lie, I obviously don't expect it to get very far. But that's what you do with everything else, though. Yeah, like and then I get the Discord, and then I get bamboozled in into Jackbox. actually defending it, and then I actually believe that I want to defend it. Oh, now you're going to blame us for fucking forcing you to argue about it. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. No, that makes you are going to beat this shit out of your fucking future husband someday. That makes sense though. I actually hit you because you pissed me off, honey. You are the one if you didn't dress like a whore, I wouldn't have to hit you. Is I how like you to sound think right that there's now. There's somebody out there. Who you like, bamboozle me into I'm arguing <laughs> this. Okay, okay, buddy. That's pretty accurate, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You made me hit you, honey. See how that one holds up in the court of law, <laughs> officer. She was talking back. Yeah. She made me hit her. It's like, oh, oh shit, shit. she right. was talking back. Gotcha. That's it. <laughs> I understand. Carry on. Like that's how fucking gay you sound right now. Yeah. We have like an ebb and flow of who like looks into things too hard. Like mine's just supposed to be like silly little silly little things. They're not silly or little though with Hubert, that's the thing. Sure. Sure, buddy. And then isn't that the thing that I say when I'm actually, I don't know what else to say? Is that what it is? Well, you're not saying anything else right now, so I mean, you're kind of proving the point. Yeah, just making sure. Just making sure. So how about all those notes that you wrote down in your phone? See, I feel like, oh, fuck, maybe it's not actually that big of a thing. I have this, uh, I, I was looking around on, I, I don't know if it was Twitter, if it was on Reddit. I doubt it was on Reddit because I don't really go on our Burton Burger Reddit at all. But I just, uh, I saw on the Survivor Reddit, actually, uh, they were asking questions. Nope, this was actually on Google. Yep, I was Googling some shit, and I saw on uh, some, like, frequently asked questions. It's like, of all the goods that are supplied to the survivors when they get on the island and shit, like, whatever, some people are allowed to, like, keep inhalers or, like, weird stuff like that or or whatever. Um, one of the things somebody asked, like, one of the big Google questions, like, does Survivor give the contestants condoms? Yep, they talk about that in Season 2. Yeah. It's like, that was that was kind of interesting. I guess I didn't remember that from that, because I read that, and I'm like, fuck, I gotta write this down and ask Burger about this. Yeah, Mad Dog, or whatever her name was from season two, said that there were so many condoms in there when they when she got there, and there were still the exact same amount when she left. Damn. Yeah. It's like... Was that the long topic you were talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're still in the middle of it, buddy. Um, are we? Um, yeah, I feel like that kind of incentivizes, like, uh, maybe not. <clears throat> I guess they probably just don't. Yeah. Can you can you complete a thought just for once? No. Like, I feel like that incentivize. Mm, no, nah, no, it doesn't. Maybe. Yeah, see, because usually, maybe. What, what do you think? Do usually... you think that too? No, you do. Can you tell me what, can you like finish it? The more I talk, the more... Do you read books and then like you just stop reading the sentence and go to the next? 
No, not quite that. <laughs> well, then that's how you fucking talk. Can you let, let's 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 have you finish your fucking sentence? You think that incentivize is okay? You got me on the edge of my seat. I'm listening. Bad behavior. So you're literally like those fucking Catholic private schools from the 50s <laughs> that say, let's not teach them how to wear condoms because that's just going to make them want to fuck more. Oh. So they got rid of Ooh. that. And next thing you know, the school is filled with fucking teenage pregnancies. Like, are you a fucking conservative from the fucking Elvis period? Like, what the fuck? Ooh. I may be. I may. Do you be. think people there are honestly like, damn, she looking fine in that bikini and she rubbing that thing all up on me? But we don't got condoms, so I'm not gonna have sex with her. Like, what the fuck, Bert? Like, how much of a virgin can you possibly be? Yeah. This was hugely debated in the fucking thirties, dude. Was it? On damn. whether there should be like sex education or not. I don't know if that's necessarily the same thing, but... You don't think it's the same thing to teach people about these things versus having condoms available? It's the same exact fucking things. Like, if you don't have condoms available, you're going to have more fucking pregnancies. Yeah, I see why they're there now. I didn't really think of that. But no, if I... Mm. If if I had the opportunity to get fucking laid on Survivor and I was single, I'd do it in a fucking heartbeat. Even if it was another guy. Yeah, I remember that. Fuck what, Russell. Yeah, that's what Steven was saying. He's like, they don't really got that on their mind. That's such starving. bullshit too. Like, I never understood that. Like, I could see for the first few days you could definitely really have something in you, but by the end, I feel like they're probably so like. I just, you guys must not have been as horny as I've been. <laughs> right. There ain't nothing stopping me. Yeah, I feel like that would be... Well, that sounds rapey. I meant stopping me from being horny, not, like, from... From acting on my impulses. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I feel like there's other things that they don't get. Like, do they give them shit and paper? Nope. But they get condoms. Not really an essential either. I wonder if you can... Yeah, see, these are the, this is the reason why I don't continue my sentences. Can you wear the condom on your hand like a sock puppet and just scoop like maybe that is scoop what outcome (laughs) yeah Yeah. see like maybe that don't you think it'd be easier to just use a leaf than see they they always say that i feel like a leaf would just fuck your ass up and you think a fucking latex condom would be any better yeah (laughs) it's not sharp and scratchy you're not supposed to use not. a fucking fucking pine tree or a Christmas tree to wipe your <laughs> pine ass. Cone. What are do you doing? Getting part. a fucking three feet of a fucking pine tree and just one hand in the back, one hand in the front, and just fucking going up and down like a, you're pulling rope or something? <laughs> yes. Sounds like a sound strategy, really. I think what I would do is yeah. just spread my ass in the ocean and start just using my hands right there. <laughs> yes. You just have a little poop floating around you and you just swim away. Yeah, I feel like the ocean really is the the catch all. It'd be like Kaya, how he how he has to shower after he shits. Same thing. And there's salt but too then, that's oh, shitting in the water. The yeah, bacteria. I don't like uh, <laughs> But you would rather just put your hand f- in a condom and just fucking shit shovel and... shit out. That's so cute. You'd probably start fucking yourself, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jerking off. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, yet again, the natural progression of things. I don't know. I feel I'm like just thinking Survivor, how we can game the system, about, you know. I, well, they've done stuff like that where apparently Richard Hatch put matches in a condom and put it in his ass, and then that's how he was able to start a fire so quickly in All-Stars. Like, there's gay rumors like that. or I do remember one chick That's used hardcore. her earrings as, like, fishing hooks or something like that. And it's just, it's one of those things where when you're an asshole like that, you ruin it for everybody, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, cool, this is why we have, you know, mandatory rules. Uh, whatever checks they're called at the TSA when they fucking got to check. Yeah, seriously. Like, I think, is... um, 
I Thanks, think. Rich. Yeah. I think we talked about this last week, but Survivor has just really gotten away from the nature element. Anyways, it's not so much about building shelter or having fire or eating food. It's just so focused on strategy, which is fine. That I'm not going to complain by that about that. But also, like, it's just so mm-hmm. woke and it's just the different, focused like on it's... people's personal stories and shit. Like, I just... It's, it might as well be Big Brother at this point where they're in a mansion and they're fucking each other all the time and <sighs> discussing strategy. <laughs> Probably got a lot of condoms here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That show looks nope, so I still choose cringe. Viber, though. Like, sometimes yeah, no, it, I would it still comes choose on, Viber. it's like, yeah, no thank you. There's something about the whole survivor, el- like, surviving element that I feel is very, very cool. Yeah. But, yet again, they're walking away from it, so it's kind of like an L. I don't know. I wrote up a new script, though, for my new audition tape. Coach watched it. Coach told me how terrible my last one was, so I'm ready to... Uh, Try to make them happy this time around. I just yeah. want Coach to smile at me one time. Yeah. Hard man to please, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, anyways, guys, thank you for listening to this episode of the Burton Burger Podcast. We're just trying to bring a little bit of the family element to the podcast world. And remember, we talked about this on our Twitch the other day, but it's comedy. Please. Chill out. Looking for the love of Lord. Please chill. (laughs) Relax. And we'll see you guys all in the next episode or the next live stream. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. See you later. I saw that uh, scene uh, where they stabbed all the babies, and I thought it was funny.